For more than 30 years, patents have been issued in Australia on human and other genes. But there's a growing group of doctors, scientists and policymakers trying to overturn the trend. 4,000 human genes have been patented already. That's 20% of the human genome. Recently, the Gillard government passed the Raising the Bar Bill, which was designed to protect cancer researchers who wanted access to genetic material patented by corporations. But one of the government's own backbenchers now says the government bill doesn't go far enough. Melissa Park is lobbying her party to accept a new private member's bill banning patents on all human genes. This exclusive report from Late Line's Suzanne Smith. Every person is made up of 23,000 genes like this one. They determine everything about you, including your susceptibility to disease. Already 4,000 of these genes have been patented by organisations hoping to profit through exclusive research on them. According to the Cancer Council, this means each gene is effectively owned by the patent holder. Look, if you can just get a patent for just discovering the presence of a gene, then you really block everyone else from being able to work on that gene. Uh, and so uh, we're saying that that's not what patent law should be. It should be about an inventive step. Then you can have the patent. And now the Cancer Council is backing a new private member's bill from a Labor backbencher. If successful, Melissa Park's legislation will ban patents on all genetic material, including human genes. Her government introduced the Raising the Bar Bill earlier this year, but she says it has a serious flaw. The problem with it was that it did not address the issue of patentable subject matter. It did not cover uh, gene patents uh, and that's an omission that needs to be rectified. And so I am intending to introduce a private member's bill uh, to ban gene patents that I hope will have the support of the government and also widespread support within the parliament. This is the second time a bill could be introduced to the parliament to ban patents on genes. In November 2010, Senator Bill Heffernan and other cross-party supporters introduced the first private member's bill to Parliament that would have banned patents on genetic and biological material. This bill was considered too wide in scope. Then the Gillard government passed its own bill in March this year known as the Raising the Bar legislation. Now a government MP has launched her own attempt to solve the issue once and for all. The Gillard Bill did include an exemption for medical researchers so they could access a gene under patent. But the Cancer Council says it does not work in practice. Well, it's very difficult, the research exemption, because it's only an exemption if you're not going to commercialise the, the results of it. Now, that may be uh, impossible to decide. At stake here is the future of cancer therapies. If an organisation can monopolise a gene, that means the world's scientists can't collaborate and swap their results. This could potentially delay a cure for cancer or the invention of a vaccine. Dr Ian Olver says the current government's bill doesn't stop patent holders from intervening in crucial research. Our problem is that um, the BRCA1, BRCA2, the breast cancer gene uh, patent, which was threatened to be in force back in 2008, showed us uh, that companies could hold a monopoly over a gene and that would actually stop uh, other companies developing new treatments. And the next new treatments are going to be targeted therapies in cancer based on genes and their products. In 2009, Lateline broadcast a report on the issue of the two main breast and ovarian cancer genes, BRCA1 and BRCA2 genes. In Australia, Melbourne company Genetic Technologies Limited has the exclusive licence from Myriad Corporation in the United States to conduct tests on the breast cancer genes. In 2003 and in 2008, Westmead Hospital and the Peter McCallum Laboratory in Victoria received a legal letter from Genetic Technologies Limited demanding they cease all testing for the BRCA1 and BRCA2 genes in women. A public outcry over the issue forced Genetic Technologies to withdraw the legal threat against the public researchers, but Genetic Technologies could enforce their patent at any time. In the US, women pay Myriad Corporation close to $4,000 to see if they have genes that will trigger breast cancer. 
with effective medical options. To be ready. Be ready. Be, be ready, ready against, against cancer now. now. Myriad can charge what it wants for the breast cancer gene test because it is a monopoly. If women in the US want an opinion other than the one supplied by Myriad, they have to travel to Canada. Back in Australia, Melissa Park will soon ask the Labor caucus to support her new bill. Lateline contacted Ausbiotech, the organisation that represents Australia's biotech industry. They were unable to comment tonight but will respond sometime in the near future. Suzanne Smith, Lateline.